Trump job is completed. We're, I'm going to show you that, but the one thing I wanted to, to give you right here, I'm going to attempt to solve this problem where they went in there and, and kind of dug too much of a bowl. I'm basically, without short of trying to, you know, which I wouldn't weld aluminum back in the bowl to reposition it, I'm going to try to work on this valve seat. Now, I think you can see the line scribed. Okay, I've already done the math on it with his application. It's going to be pretty serious. I guess you'd call it pro street. So this is the math angle I'm going to put on it for that application which you use less 70 and less radius the higher the RPM goes so that it makes the dump different at a different RPM alright now it should be alright that's great I got enough of a line now to see let me see if I can get you some light on it alright as you can see we'll go to this one right here I can see my line being right there. That's going to be about 30 to 40, no, about 40 thousandths below. Of course, there's my gray seat, which I might add, they came in absolutely perfect. I am going to put a run out dial on it so y'all can see the numbers I got this time versus what I had last time. But I'm going to have that there. And on the exhaust, I'm going to reach down a little bit for them. That one's going to come in probably about uh, 40 thousandths from the top, maybe 50. I get a little bit more of a radius there. So the reason I'm doing this once again, okay, if you look here where they've made the bowl bigger and then the seat comes and necks it out, I'm going to take an egg or a pineapple and come in here and dig at an angle. I'm going to show you how to do it. Pull it into that line without touching the aluminum. If you remember that game Operation that we used to play when we were kids where you take the little thing and you can't touch the sides or else the little alarm goes off. That's the same thing we got going here, only in this case it ain't an alarm, it'll be the damn valve seat make me have to do the valve job over. Not going to happen. So I'm going to go in here, pull down on the seat at a certain angle because remember at the same time you don't want to cut too much of the iron seat because it can lose its ability to crush and hold into the aluminum just enough to give it an angle so that I can make this bowl blend right here and pull into it without I mean it's just a big hump a nasty thing where the seat was installed in the head so we need to try to get rid of that all right I'm going to go ahead and set up, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the valve job, figure I'll let you take a look at that. Alright, notice how the, that, that the gray line's my seat. I pretty much got it nailed. I've measured them all and I'm coming up with about uh, 40 thousandths on the intake, 45 to 50 on the exhaust. I made them a little wider normal because this is going to be see a lot of street use. I mean, right there, they're pretty much all right on the money. And uh, on the face of the valve, let me set a couple of them up so you can look and see how I did that. Put it in my valve machine. I've already, uh, of course, the, the valve job and the lapping's done. This is a little touch that I do to them. All right. I'm just going to kiss off the top. I've got the, the grinder set at 30 degrees. Let's, uh, I'm going to stop it a minute, pull it out, and by, by doing it this way, it's just a safety thing. See, I've already got the gray on the seat, and I can take the machine and put a little thing over. And, and what I do is I grind the 30 to just a few thousandths above the 45, okay? When you take your finger and feel the machine surface of the valve or the swirl polish and then it lays in that 30 it's not near as sharp and abrupt and it gives it a little bit of a transition angle I'm not worried that much about 
the width of the 30 degree top cut because that depends a lot on how well the, the valves are machined. I can tell you this, the china valves will be all over the place, different widths, and a good valve like a Manly or a Foray, it is amazing when you chuck that up in the machine how much it will trim if you bring it to the seat, they'll all almost be the same width on the 30 degree angle. That just shows you the difference in the machining of the quality of the valve between a China valve and a good foray, manly, an REV or SI valve, uh, which I'm a big fan of SI and REV personally. So anyway, um, that's what we got on this right here. Now notice how I've got the seat in the same location. Right at the bottom, 10 thousandths from the edge. You can barely see a little bit of shiny on this side of the gray. Once again, that's just how I set them up. And then of course, you see I think I got a measurement here for you. Right here. That is right on the money at 40 thousandths. Okay. All right, so we're gonna go in here now that I've uh, got the, the line scribed. Let's put a, bring it over here. Okay, I've already got this set up and ready to go, but I figure I'd pull it in and I think you can see the line pretty well on the exhaust side. Um, right there we are, there's our line. I know probably on the film it might be a little bit hard for you to see and then of course right here on the intake I can see it good but anyway that's where I've got the line scribed to and I'm going to show you how I'm going to try to go in there with a pineapple and pull that in on them. Alright so that's what we're on to now and then that's it. That's the end of the show on this because like I said uh, stage two is basically going through making sure all the stuff's there with just a little bit of touch up. I'll tell you why it's a 2.5 in a minute. Let's go ahead and get uh, the last part done.